Hey guys, Serious Tick here doing a dual com with Harry. And today we're going to be doing uh, Utanium, which is one of my favourite COD4 levels. And um, we're going to be talking a bit about Modern Warfare 3, giving you a bit of info, a bit of um, talking about the gameplay. So it has introduced yourself. Hi guys, it's Harry, as you know from uh, previous commentaries. Um, quite a lot of our videos from now on will probably be dual commentary, so might as well get used to that. Um, but basically, we're going to be talking a bit about Modern Warfare 3 today. The game looks really good. Um, well, but I have, I have seen quite a lot of things wrong with it. Um, one couple of things I have to say is it looks just like Modern Warfare 2. Um, if someone took a screenshot of it and showed it to me, I would think it was like a level of Modern Warfare 2. So, yep, and that's a little bit disappointing. I was hoping they'd, they'd think of some completely different graphic style and, you know, completely different guns and everything, but they seem to have kept it quite the same. Um, now I've Tom, you might want to talk a little bit more about oh, it. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about some of the things I saw in the campaign as I was um, watching this gameplay. Now, one of the things I noticed is, is that, um, you know, don't get your hopes up on this for people who like it, and, you know, don't get your hopes up for people who don't want to be in, but the printing result is in the campaign. Now, you know, um, on the campaign you stay on top of a building and you use it to blow up a load of people, um, and, it, and you use a predator. Now, those two, um, I'm quite happy about that, they put the predator in there. But I'm uh, not so happy for people who don't like it. So um, we're going to be talking about some of the attachments that we noticed. So Harry's just going to give you a little brief talk about that. Well, in some of the um, gameplay I've seen, or some of the pictures I've seen, that some of the guns have two sights. Now, this is going to be pretty cool, but I don't think they should overcomplicate it too much. Some people might like this, they've done this, but, um, you know, I think I think that's going to be really great if we see that in the online. I haven't seen any online. Um, images or gameplay, but I, I hope that that will be in the online because that will be quite a new addition to multiplayer side of things. Um, but it could, uh, it could, you know, possibly ruin the online. I guess it's going to make it a bit more, a bit too complicated. But I think this is going to be, this will be a pretty cool addition. I think they have brought up some pretty good ideas. Um, and hopefully, if we see any of this, this stuff, it will be pretty cool. So, um, hopefully, we'll see that in the campaign. It will be quite good if you're using a sniper or a machine gun. Or use an ACOG and a, a red dot sight, or an ACOG and a sniper, you can have two of those. Or say, like what I'm using now, uh, you might be able to have a silencer and a um, red dot sight, which would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, over the top. Oh yeah, I'm just going to be talking about a bit of the survival mode now. As you guys remember, um, probably back in one of the two, um, what they tried to do was they tried to call it and uh, make it like, um, like, uh, Cod 5, because Cod 5 is so amazing with um, zombies, and now what they wanted to do, they wanted to basically have a survival mode, and now what they've done, I've played a bit of it, and they, they copy, completely copy them, um, try out, but it's just basically a rubbish copy of um, try out to, um design, which I think is really disappointing, they should have thought something completely new, but I uh, have learned a couple of cool features about it, you get um, sort of new drops, new perks, and a uh, you know, new, all new things about it. I'm not completely sure um, about that, so if Harry has anything to say about that. I'm yeah, sure I've heard a bit about it. I'm not entirely sure about it. Um, some people said that it's zombie mode, where there's any sort of zombies just come at you. Or some people said that it's actually people with guns firing at you, just like the campaign, except endless waves of people. And I think this would be pretty cool. Um, I'm glad that they've actually tried, you know, made an effort to put something in. I, I think they've copied track a bit, and, you know, they didn't really need to do that. They could have thought of something new. But I, have, I haven't tried it out yet. It could be completely awesome. It could be completely rubbish. But from what I've heard, it doesn't sound too good. Um, but, you know, I'm looking forward to it, and I'll try it out. But um, it should be pretty good, and I'm looking forward to it. There was some. Yeah, and um, another thing about it is that, obviously, um, I know a lot of people have mentioned this in our videos about it, but it looks exactly the same as Modern Warfare. Now, I'm really scared about that, because... Um, but, but, however, I've only seen the campaign, so from what I know, is that if, if it looks the same as Modern Warfare 2, then that's just because it's because the campaign is by the same makers, which is Activision, um, who have made, I mean, it's Activision who have made the um, campaign. So if that's the same as Modern Warfare 2, then um, that's probably true. But, um, however, Sledgehammer and um, Raven, is that right? Yes, yeah, Sledgehammer and Raven and the Lunar Human Online. They're making them online, which I really hope they bring something new. Apparently, there's still going to be a grenade launcher in there. And um, there's still going to be a couple of um, um, horrible features about these games, but uh, I'm really hoping there's not in there. But from what I've heard, it is. I mean, don't don't hate me if you know, I'm wrong. This is just the information I've been given, and um, hopefully I'm giving you guys a good a good introduction on what Modern Warfare 2 is. I know a lot of you have been anticipating it. 
how I don't really feel I should give it as much of a chance as um of Black Ops because I don't, there were a couple of things wrong with Black Ops, you know, a couple of things I don't like, you know, ghosts, um, you know, um, snipers. But um, however, I, I have a feeling that I think I think that people should sort of compare it to Modern Warfare 2 with um Commando, um, sh so much rubbish, and I think it should just sort of give um, you know. Activision a new chance to make a good game <coughs> because you know Modern Warfare 2 is a complete failure, and if they can you know do this good, then, then you know, they'll be a lot good. Because you know, as you can see in the Cuff War gameplay, Cuff War is really good, and if they can just make another game like that, then you know they've done it, and mm. they've, they've got they've got another game from me. So that's you know that's sort of what I'm, what I'm trying to say. So huh? yeah, well the fact that um different people are making the online, I don't know whether to be excited or nervous about that. It's just it could either go horribly wrong or it could go like really right. I I guess I'm I'm really looking forward to playing the online. I I guess I I wonder if they might change the style of Call of Duty a bit. I don't think they will, but I think it's going to be interesting how it's being made by different people for once. Then you might see a, a couple of different game modes possibly, and you know better guns. And it's, I think it's going to be really cool. I also think that um the campaign should be pretty good on that game. I haven't seen any games be online, but the campaign looks pretty good. It looks a bit like Modern Warfare 2, but I don't think people should compare it to Modern Warfare 2 or, or this game because um, we should just see it for how good it actually is and Modern Warfare 2 is a campaign and on this they were, were pretty good campaigns I guess but um, yeah, I don't think people should compare it to like the, the failures of say Modern Warfare 2 if, if some of people might like Modern Warfare 2 but I'm not entirely sure about that I haven't really played on it that much I just I prefer to play on Black Ops and COD 4 but anyway over to Tom <coughs> Yeah, we're just going to talk about the gameplay. So, if any of you didn't watch our last video, we're just going to be showing you right now a couple of the cheats. Because um, Harry like to show a couple of those now. These Call of Duty cheats, obviously, and we find both pe all the pieces of enemy intel scattered across the campaign to get these. So, these are pretty cool. So, um, there's not really much to talk about more than three at the moment, really, um, right now. Because, you know, as I know, uh, you know, I haven't really heard much and I haven't really played much of it. But, um, all I can say is that I have hopes for this game. I'm saying that, you know, from what I've heard, it's going to be a, an awesome game. And I think, you know, already I'll buy it. Um, and then another thing I was going to say that, um, um yeah, it, look, it looks like a really good game. And it's going to be. Oh, yeah. I really hope that um, that they don't patch sniping. Because I know they did that in Black Ops. And a lot of people have said that's a failure, but I've, I've heard. But they they might they may actually touch sniping. Oh, here is a piece of intel actually on that desk. That's where one of the pieces of intel is. Just again, do you know so And they apparently they're going to touch sniping. So uh, I'm quite sad about that. But you know, I'm sorry to bring you guys the bad news. I'm just telling you what I've heard and um, stuff about the warfare too. So this is pretty cool. The game, we're going to probably end the gameplay in a minute because uh, of, um, because you know, there's not really much to talk about about modern warfare two and um, three yet. Uh, as I know, but um, hopefully we brought you guys, you know, a bit of information and made it, you know, anticipation to get it a bit easier for you guys. Because I know a lot of you are sort of, you know, really w waiting on this game, sort of, you know, really anticipating and wondering like what's in it. Are there going to be new tubes? I know, and all um stuff like that. So hopefully we sort of cleared that up for you a little bit and helped you on that. So uh, yeah, here's a couple of cheats. Um, so we're going to be bringing down some games to close. It has anything planned? Um, yeah, so yeah, um, as you can see, I'm doing some cheats here. If you haven't already watched our video of cheats in the Cod War campaign, I recommend you could check it out. It's pretty cool. We'll be showing you basically all the cheats you can do and showing some Cod War gameplay with using the cheats. Um, well, Modern Warfare 3 is, is going to be pretty good, but we, we will be bringing you some more videos once we find out more information. And we should hopefully bring you a trailer out on our channel if you guys want to see that. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace like out. Like it if you liked it. Thanks. Um, uh, Hopefully you get a couple of subscribers from this. Um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you um, add some comments as well on videos we uh, want to watch. So thanks, guys, for watching. See you.